everyone it's me Nessie again and today I'm back with another video for you guys for today's video I am partnered up with yes style to bring you guys my everyday makeup tutorial this video is arguably one of the most highly requested videos ever on my channel so I'm super glad that I finally found time to sit down and actually film it for you guys this video is going to be teaching you this look right here so if you guys are interested make sure to keep on watching so starting off with a bare face, we're going to head in with some sunscreen. I'm using the Clare Soft Airy UV Essence and applying it to the face like so. This might not look like a lot of sunscreen, but don't worry, we're going to be heading in with some more SPF later. Now we're going to head in with the Hymish Atlas Glow Base. This is a sunscreen and primer all in one and it really gives you a bright and glowy complexion. Now that our skin is prepped, we're going to head in with our foundation. I'm using the VGL Perfect Lasting Foundation in the shade AO2. Now we're going to tap it into the face with our fingers. You can definitely do this part with a makeup brush or a beauty blender, but I'm just showing you exactly how I apply my makeup daily and that is with my fingers. going in for those final touches and now we're going to move on to brows this is the 3CE eyebrow kit and as you can see from the packaging it has been very well loved I'm just going in with the ash brown color to fill in my brows I'm very particular about my brow shape I just feel like they make such a big difference to the face and so this is the part of my makeup routine that I spend the most time on Generally, I just try to fill in the sparser areas of my brows and then I go in with my Innisfree Skinny Brow Pencil to create a cleaner edge. Using a brow pencil really allows you to get into the gaps that the powder missed and also gives you more control over the shape of the brow. So here I'm just elongating the front of the brow up to the nose bridge and then sharpening the tip of the brow. Now that we've cleaned up the edges, we're going to repeat on the other side. And then we're going to flip the brow pencil to reveal the spoolie and brush through our hairs like so. Generally, you should be following the direction that your brow hairs grow, so brushing up towards the front and down towards the end. Alright, now that our brows are done, we're going to be moving on to concealer. I'm using the Sam Cover Perfection Tip Concealer in the shade 01 Clear Beige. So just covering out dark spots as well as hollow areas around the eyes. I also use it to cover my laugh lines as well as redness around the nose. You can also use it as a highlighter, so I use it to highlight my nose bridge as well as my chin area. Again, I don't use any beauty blenders or makeup brushes for this part. My fingers have been working just fine. And we're done! <laughs> Cleaning our fingers and moving on to eyeshadow. Here I'm using the Etude House in the Cafe palette and taking the shade Cafe Latte to apply all over the eyelid like so. Next up we're taking the shade Coconut on the Beach and applying all over the lid as well. I don't really have any technique for this, I just blend out with my fingers until it looks good. <laughs> And then we're going to smoke it down towards the bottom of the eye as well, still using our fingers. Repeating on the other side. Now we're taking the shade Chocolate Latte to apply to the inner and outer corners of the eyes. This just gives the eyes a little more depth and dimension. And of course, repeating on the other eye. 
again we're going to draw that color out towards the bottom of the eye to give our eyes a bit more depth and we're done taking the leftover eyeshadow with our fingers we're going to use it to contour our nose blending it out in that area between the brow bone and the nose bridge and then drawing it out on both sides of the nose as well as the tip now we're going to quickly curl our lashes with an eyelash curler and move on to eyeliner. Here I'm using the McQueen waterproof pen eyeliner in the color deep black and drawing an extension to my lash line. I generally don't do any crazy winged eyeliner. I just try to make the line follow the curve of my eyes and extend it out to a natural looking degree. Here I'm just trying to blend the line in with my natural lash line and then I'm going to go in and tight line the eyes. I don't really draw my eyeliner on top of my lid. I like to draw it in the lash line because it just looks a lot more natural for me. Sharpening that end one more time and we are done with this eye. Now I'm going to repeat it on the other eye, remembering to extend the line to follow the natural curve of your eyes and then tight lining the lash line. Moving on, we're taking this gel eyeliner from Bia in the shade Rose Gold to line the lower part of the eyes. This does emphasize your egg yolk style and also reflects a little more light into the eyes. Now if that's not enough sparkle, we're going to be adding some more. So here I'm using the 3C Eye Switch in the shade Double Note and going to be applying some more sparkle, some more glitter to the lower part of the eyes. Now repeat on the other side and our sparkly makeup is done. Oh, but don't forget mascara. Here I'm using the Innisfree Skinny Long Long Cara to extend my lashes. My eyelashes are pretty short so I need all the length that I can get. I usually apply with a zigzag motion at the base of the lashes and then draw out to extend them. Now for cheeks, we're taking the Sugar Ball Cushion from Aritam in the shade Juicy Peach, lightly dabbing onto our cheeks like so. I usually start from the apple of my cheeks and then draw up and repeat on the other side. Blend out with my fingers and we're done! Moving on to the lips, I am using the Peripera Ink Velvet in the shade Girlish Red. This thing is very pigmented so you only need a few light taps and then your fingers can do the rest of the work. So many of you have been asking me which lip colour I use and if you guys remember I was using a discontinued shade from Rimmel London but this is my new holy grail, I just think the colour of it is so pretty and I've been wearing it every single day. But uh, that was the final step and I think we're ready to head out. Alright guys, that brings this everyday makeup routine to a wrap. This is my first ever makeup tutorial so I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching. All of the products that I use are available on yesstyle.com so I will leave links to them in the description box down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Annyeong! <laughs>